What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work here, lady. This story's called, I have proof. Sure, Jan. I tried to edit this down to swap out some of the profanity. I really like some of those words, so if it seems like there's some uh, unnatural bits, that's why. A few I left, they felt integral. Integral. In, 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 yeah, okay. If it helps, I lied to Reddit when it asked me about this sub and whether it has profanity. I'm at Bullseye's house, a place I often frequent for jeans to wear to work because they're surprisingly durable for their price. Currently, I work at a completely different store and I'm dressed in a teal hoodie and leggings. If you're somehow unaware, the uniform there is a red top. God knows that won't stop Karen. I'm minding my business sorting through the, to be honest, pretty disorganized jeans looking for my size when I'm tapped on the shoulder. What the actual fudge? I know. I turn to face her, a lady who has the haircut. Hackles rise on instinct. At least she has a mask on, though she's full <laughs> penis nosing it. I want that cardigan from that mannequin, she tells me, somehow already impatient. Let's be clear, I'm not new. I know what she's assuming at this point, and I just don't care. That's nice, I respond. I go back to what I'm doing, a small smile on my face at having what I have considered a successful interaction, or I got to be sassy with a Karen. Oh, how wrong I was to think it would end there. Get it for me now, she growls. Now, it's become clear someone pooed in her coffee this morning, and that's just... <sighs> Not my problem. I'm frustrated myself. These jeans are a real mess and I'm not finding my size. Let's skip all this. I don't work here and I'm not about to put up with it. Go torment someone else or leave. It's not like she let me get all that out without trying to yell back at me, but I just spoke through it. I'm naturally quite soft-spoken, but I'm not feeling it that day, I guess. This is ridiculous! You just wait! Hey, yo! She burst out, seeing a poor man holding a tablet. As I've stressed, I'm not new to retail. I read this guy in a minute. He's maybe a few years younger than I am, like 22, 23. He's got on khakis and a dress shirt in exactly bullseye red. He has the slick gelled hair, the perfectly placed name tag, and a smile on his face as he's waved down that doesn't hide his fear from either of us. He's one of those fresh-faced, right out of college management trainees if I've ever seen one. Uh, yes ma'am, uh, how can I help you? This one she says, jerking her thumb at me as I'm more of an object than a person. It's incredibly rude, and I won't be treated like that. Something needs to be done. She's even lied to me and said she doesn't work here. I'm uh, amused now, smiling. I want to see how this guy handles this. Surely he's had training, but I get the feeling this might be one of his first problem customers. I'm not even looking for jeans now. I'm looking at Ryan. Uh, well, ma'am. Great use of ma'am again, Ryan. She actually doesn't work here, but maybe I can help you? Hey, good on you, Ryan. Trying to deflect back to her actual issue. You sweet summer child, Ryan. You messed up. He shoots me a small, sympathetic grin within full view of the Karen, as if to apologize for me being dragged into this. Oh, buddy, you don't need to be sorry. It's entertaining now. She sees it. Yes, she does. I have proof. Oh, -ho. this is news to me. Proof I work at a store I've never worked at. I'm intrigued. I'm one of the managers here, ma'am. Okay, Ryan. A third ma'am is at least one too many. I promise you she's not an employee. Yes, she is! 
Karen screeches. I know she is. Stop lying. I decide to take pity on Ryan. I'm scared for him. What's your proof then? I ask, hoping to wave a flag in front of the metaphorical and, to be honest, literal bull. You're folding the goddamn jeans. Oh my god. I can't help it. I burst out laughing like a full good belly laugh. The kind of laugh I wouldn't do in front of a guy for a few dates because it's ugly. Ryan looks worried for me now, like for my sanity. She's doing the occasional offended sputter and motioning to me as if to demonstrate what a bad employee I am. I eventually recover. It's probably legitimately like 20 seconds. I'm still smiling. There are tears in my eyes. I was folding them back up <laughs> as I look because I'm a decent freaking human, not a lazy monster who expects people to clean up my messes. <laughs> it's like she just truly could not fathom that anyone would fold clothing in a store they don't work in. She has no immediate rebuttal. Ryan is also floundering as now his customers are fighting. I think, screw it, why not? Incline my not employed here butt up on the platform holding the mannequins. Do you see where this is going yet? I've done my share of apparel retail too, and I've got that cardigan off that mannequin in a record time. Time. Karen looks smug, like at least she's got this victory. She's been complaining about me the whole time to Ryan, naturally. She then sees me pull on the cardigan and loses her goddamn mind. I bought the cardigan even though it was a size too big. I never did find those jeans. I like to believe that Ryan survived the encounter. Buck up, buddy. There's plenty more where she came from. OP, you handled that situation better than anyone could ever possibly hope to handle any situation ever in the history of situations and people and things. All right, this story's called, Why Are You Wearing a Blue Beanie Then? I have been a long time lurker here and have been debating telling this story. This was before the pandemic hit and when my social anxiety was pretty bad. Obligatory disclaimer, on mobile and English is my main language, but I still suck at it. So hi, I'm sorry. My fiance and I are huge gamers and we moved to a city that had a buy of the best pretty close. So naturally, my fiance and I visited quite a bit. That day, I was wearing a plaid shirt, love me some plaid, some blue jeans, sneakers, and the star of the show, my favorite blue beanie that I also stole from my fiance. Again, this is the buy of the best. Uniforms are blue polos with store logos and black slacks. I was looking through the games while my fiance was a few aisles over looking at the records when all of a sudden a wild man child appeared here's the cast there's me uh fiance man child i'm trying to decide what rpg i want to buy to put on my shelf and maybe play in the next year oh my god i love that while literally sitting on the floor i'm tall so it hurts to lean over to see the bottom shelves i hear someone behind me and i don't really think much of it as the store was decently packed Hey, I need to get a laptop out of the lockup. I've been waiting by them and no one has helped me yet. I'm still on the floor with my head in the game rack sifting through poorly organized games, not even noticing he was talking to me. As an employee just asked me if I needed help about two minutes before, so I figured he was talking to the same employee. Hello? Are you gonna help me or just waste my time? I realized that something was going on, so I glanced behind me thinking an employee was being rude. Meanwhile, this guy was was maybe two feet right behind me. So when I turned around to look, I just have some random dude's crotch in my face. I look up to see why he's so close. He was wearing a baseball cap, brown work pants, a white shirt, and a blue jacket. The jacket comes into play later. And had a look of pretentiousness. Kinda like his time was worth more than a peasant's life. 
Finally, you get your head out of your ass? Now hurry up! My wife is still waiting and I need a laptop for my son! I finally stand up, not only because of the view I was forced to see, but because my fight or flight kicked in for a moment. As soon as I stand up, I back away a good six feet or so and just look at him, trying to figure out how to respond. Hi, deer in headlights anxiety rules. What? Are you gonna run away because I asked for help? Why did they hire an idiot like you? Under my breath and slightly staggering my words, but I, I don't work here. What was that? Come on, be a big boy and speak up. A bit louder, but still quiet. I don't work here. I'm just looking at games. This whole time, I'm just in a mental whirlwind as to why this was happening. I was not in uniform, nor was I organizing anything. Just flipping through games. At the same time, my anxiety is telling me to run to my fiance and hide. You don't work here? No, I'm sorry. Then why are you wearing a blue beanie then? Screw you! You wasted so much of my freaking time! At this point, he stormed off to find an actual employee, and I just sat there trying to figure out why a blue beanie of all things made him think I worked there. After being confused for a bit, I basically ran to find my fiance. After finding him, I told him all that happened, and I could see both confusion and anger slowly come over his face, followed by a very pissed off, HELL NO! Then he storms off while I realize what or who he is going towards. I'm still incredibly highly anxious over it, so I try to talk him down as he walks towards the man. He asked what he looked like, and stupid me didn't know why until it was too late. My fiancé is the sweetest man ever, but when it comes to me, he is very protective. That, and he is a very tall Nordic man with a full beard and can be pretty intimidating intimidating when angry. He walks up to the man, who is now with an actual employee getting his laptop out of the cases. Meanwhile, I hide in an aisle while still keeping an eye on him. Fiance says to Manchild, Hey, I've been waiting forever and you're just sitting here talking to your friend. The poor employee looked beyond confused as to what is happening, but just kept out of it. What the hell are you talking about? Who even are you? A customer. So are you gonna help me or are you just gonna sit there with your thumb up your ass. Dude, are you stupid? I don't work here, so step off! Then why are you wearing the blue jacket? Manchild went from piss to confused real fast at that. Ironic. Why would my jacket mean I work here? I don't know. You thought a beanie meant my fiancé did. Sounds pretty stupid coming from someone else, huh, you freaking idiot? At this point, Manchild saw me in the aisle over watching. His face just went pale as snow. Learn some respect. And while you're at it, try to find those brain cells you lost on the way. My fiancé walks away, and I immediately run behind him, and we got out of the store before the employee called security on us for yelling. I didn't hear anything behind me, but I also didn't dare to look back. Being very anxious about confrontations, I was pretty upset at first with my fiancé, but when I calmed down, I realized it was him standing up for me. It was pretty damn funny, actually. Actually. We avoided that store for a good month and just went to one a bit further away. Wow, amazing story with a cool Viking. That's badass. It's even more badass because currently I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and that's an amazing game with lots of badass things in it, including Vikings. Hey, you even are a Viking. Speaking of Vikings, play it. It's good. Also, my boy Alan in the comments always talking about Valhalla. Yes, I am playing it. You got it right. All right, this story's called, How Long Have You Worked Here, Dear? I've loved reading all your stories, so I decided to share my own personal story that fortunately happens to be sweeter than most here. On mobile, so I apologize for any format problems. The year was 2011. I was working at a Chick-fil-A in my hometown. One day, I wanted to look for a particular game at GameStop before my evening shift, so I put on that maroon polo and slacks combo and left to my house early. It was a Saturday and fairly busy as I tore through the U 
menus section for my RPG of choice. However, not finding what I wanted, I wound up just stepping back and people watched for a while to kill the time. Enter old lady, maybe around 60 years old. She walks straight to the Wii section with a piece of paper in her hand, but in less than a minute, seemed to grow concerned as she looked at her paper, then the shelves, and back to the paper. A quick glance around revealed that both workers in view were busy, so I stepped forward to offer my help, stepping just inside the edge of her vision. Hello, uh, can I help you, ma'am? Oh, yes, I can't seem to figure out which ones I should get. It turns out that she was confused by the different Just Dance games that were available, and I was happy to inform her that the only true difference was the selection of songs available. She picked up the newest game, because why not, and asked if I had any suggestions for games to give a then 8 year old, for which I'm fairly certain I pointed to the Mario Galaxy games. We chatted for a minute about her family, old lady smiling now that she was through the minor ordeal. As she turned to go to the register, she said, Thank you for helping me. So how long have you worked here, dear? I tilted my head in confusion before recalling that I was wearing what could be seen as work casual clothes. Ah, I don't work here, ma'am. I point to the Chick-fil-A logo on my sleeve to emphasize my point. Oh, blink. Oh, I'm so sorry I took up your time. Thank you again. She gave me that shoulder squeeze that only sweet old ladies can before placing herself in line. I didn't get what I wanted, but I wound up getting what I needed. A pleasant moment to get me through yet another monotonous shift of fast food fun. Thanks for reading. GameStop is a freaking amazing place to hang out and just talk to people. Because guess what? They're all there for what? One thing. Cool, cool, I was about to say cool crap and S word at the same time. Cool crap. Lots of licensed stuff. Plus, business is booming. At least I think. All right, this story's called, She Doesn't Work Here, She's Just French. This is about my husband who is oblivious to everything but super nice and likes to talk to people. We were in the Louvre, just looking and soaking it all in, and my husband had a question about something that I can't even remember now. This happened in April 2019. We're just kind of discussing our thoughts on it and he sees a woman dressed all in black and decides she must work there. So he asks her the question in his broad Aussie accent and gets a funny look. He thinks it is because she doesn't speak English and kind of does the apologetic hand signals and look. I say, she doesn't work here, she's just French and chic. She says, you're right, I don't work here, but blah 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 blah, and tells my husband the thing he wants to know. That's amazing. French people are so kind. I don't know what all those people are saying. They say French people are mean and they smell bad and they smell like cheese all the time. I say, that's just not true, man. It can't be. Because look, she's nice. And chic. Chic and cheese are very similar looking, so maybe it's just people getting confused. However, it does make less sense to say they smell like chic. So, my point is, French fries are from Belgium. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.